Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles. Welcome to my channel and in this episode I want to show you the wrap dress I made for the sewing challenge Sew Together for Summer. So I'll put a poster in here so you know what I'm talking about. It's a very popular sewing challenge that's going on on Instagram up to the 21st of June and um, you just have to make a wrap dress. Um, I think fake wrap dresses are allowed but this is a proper wrap dress like fully wrapped you know. So it's also um, the pattern I chose is also in my make nine that I determined uh, earlier in the year and it's the Appleton wrap dress by Cashmere Patterns. Now I made um, I made a cashmere pattern before last month, the Turner dress, and I really, really liked everything about it, the fit, you know. So yeah, I decided to bring that project forward. I had sort of thought about making it later in the year, but because I, I was gonna make a wrap dress anyway, I might as well make it now. <laughs> so as I was preparing for this dress, um, reading the pattern, the instructions, you know, piecing the billions of papers together, <laughs> Um, I was really conflicted about the amount of fabric that was required to make this dress. Um, whenever a dress requires more than one and a half meters, I'm just like something's tugging at my heart and I'm just like, no, it's too much fabric. I just can't do it. Because, you know, I've said it before, when I don't have plans for, for fabric, I just buy one and a half meters. I always do that. Like, I'm at a shop and I see a nice woven or knit or whatever. And I think, oh, that's really cool. I, um, this could be a dress. Can I have one and a half meters? <laughs> so any, anything that's in my stash is basically one and a half meters when I'm planning a dress. So for this dress, you needed like double the amount. <laughs> so I thought, oh, we'll always scrap out the sleeves because I'm not gonna do the sleeves. Uh, that will, you know, make me require less fabric right so i got my one and a half um, meters of fabric laid it on the floor where i had more space to play around with the pattern pieces and there was no way like just it was not fitting <laughs> but then i looked at the photos of people that have made the dress and i looked on the website at the models there that are showcased on the website and I noted that the ladies there were not short actually, they looked sort of like my height or maybe a bit less, I'm not sure. But the dress seemed to hit them below the knee and I do not wear dresses below the knee, that is just no way. <laughs> so um, I thought I'm just going to chop off 10 centimeters and go from there. No, wait, I chopped off uh, 2 inches, that's what I did, I chopped off 5 centimeters and then thought I'm gonna need an extra inch for the hem so that'll be about seven and a half centimeters shorter than, than what is shown. So I cut that off the bottom of my pattern pieces, laid it out again on the, on the fabric and yeah. I'm going to insert now a little clip of me playing around and showing you the layout and how I was able to get it out of one and a half um, meters. I was determined to get an Appleton dress from this fabric that I bought in Chile. Um, I just had it in my mind. Um, as I've said before, I always buy one and a half meters when I don't have a plan. And actually this dress requires way more fabric, but um, for the sake of not enough fabric, uh, I'm making it sleeveless. And because I always wear sleeveless anyway, uh, this is my layout. Um, Luckily, this print is non-directional, uh, so I can just place them however. And I was able to put them one facing one direction, one the other, and it just meets there in the middle. So this was a size 14. If I would have needed one more size, I wouldn't have been able to do a layout like this. These are all the bands for the neck, uh, the neck bands and stuff and the waist ties. So you see, there is always a way to get any dress you want, even if it's a wrap dress out of one and a half. <laughs> because I keep having success with making my dresses fit into the amount of fabric, I just keep buying the same amount, you know. So compromise on length, um, that does not disturb me because I am a person that will wear all the dresses above the knee. I don't wear mini skirts or mini dresses, but just above the knee is my preferred length. So that saves a lot of fabric if you predetermine the length you want before you cut the fabric out. And having a seam on the bands that tie around you, you know, that wrap around your body, with such a busy print, you're not going to see that extra seam that makes that you know, that waist tie longer. So
So those are the two things I had to compromise on and I was quite happy to do that. So here is my dress. Look at this fabric, it's just fabulous. <laughs> so this is a rayon spandex I brought from Chile. I bought it last summer. No, I bought it in the summer of 2017, so over a year ago. And I took it to Bolivia with me, then I brought it back to Brazil. Uh -huh. So um, I made a straight size 14 out of this. Now, because this is a thinner knit, you know, it, it's nice knit, but it's it's thinner, you know, thinner than, than a Liverpool knit or whatever. I decided to size up because I, I usually, for this, for cashmere, I make a 12 bodice graded out to 14 uh, at the waist and hips but because I didn't want this clinging so close to my body as I would be fine with in a thicker knit I decided to just go straight 14 straight 14 and that's fine <laughs> so it's really always hard to show a wrap dress because they just look like anything you know like when you're not inside them so um, there's a wrap here so here you can see that there's a little opening there where the where the waist tie goes around and then this side crisscrosses over here. So the right side is actually narrower than the left side because the left side goes all the way up to there, up to the other side. And the right side goes up to the, not the middle, but maybe three quarter way so that when you tie it, your, your ties are going to be like here. They're not going to be on the side. I'm not sure if I like that, but I'll tell you about that later. <laughs> but yeah, so um, when you're making the bands, the right band is a bit shorter than the left band. And you need to attach this onto this band that's like a neck band. And I think it's genius. Um, a bit more work, but the result is a very, very shaped band and neckline here. Like, it's just perfect. So I think the, the construction is mega easy. The only thing that could be a bit more tricky is the band. So I have filmed it for you in case you want to make it, you could find this useful. Voice over, so there I've sewn the neck pieces together on the top. You can see I'm opening them up. And on the extremes, you're gonna have that weird little shape there on both sides. And that is where you're gonna attach your bands. So uh, remember to put the one on the right side. Um, there's one longer than the other there. I'm placing those two extremes right sides together, pin them, and then I'm going to sew them. Just I'm just using a straight stitch for this project. Um, it does have a weird little shape, so you have to follow it really closely. Um, I'm going to show you now how that looks. Now, if you open, I've already, you see I've clipped that neckline thing. You open it up and then you fold it together and it's gonna give you a band with that neck curvature. So that means it's gonna lay really flat against your neck. I mean, our necks are round, uh, so you can see the shape there. This is what's gonna go attached onto your dress. But first we have to sort out the waist ties. Um, that's just like the, the bands for the bodice. So it's very long strips of fabric for the two waist ties. Um, I told you I have a seam. You can see me passing through that seam there because it's a print, you can't really see it. Um, when I'm almost at the t uh, end, I stop and I pivot. And you can see me hand wheeling a bit there to get a very precise place and then finishing that off. After doing that with both ties, you turn them inside out. I use I just use a pencil to do that. Now to attach the waist ties to the bands of the bodice, you see the neck bands are open and you place the waist tie inside it and then you close it up like so and then you do a stitch like that and you do that on both sides. See I've got all my bands attached there. You see the left side is longer than the right. I'm going to open it up to see how that waist tie is enclosed within that binding for the neck of the bodice. It's there and you can see it's a little bit longer uh, to one extreme because that's the part that's going to go attached onto the dress. So um, before you attach the bands onto the dress you have to do the shoulder seams of course and press the front part of the dress. Um, overlock and press, I twin needled that to finish it and then you can attach your bands 
and I've laid it out on the floor so you can see the bands already attached to the bodice it follows that curve it's going to fit really nicely on your body I still need to overlock the edges of the bands there you can see where the band meets the waist ties there it's a very nice clean finish and then the rest is very easy cool so um once the bands were done and everything was attached it was so fast to make i mean this took no time at all um the good thing about this type of dress is that it's a wrap dress that has one piece like it's not a bodice attached to a skirt that's full most of the wrap dresses i see around um and the one i've made before like the eve dress uh have a bodice and then the skirt and the skirt is a full skirt uh, because my preferred style is like a straight skirt <laughs> this is perfect because this hugs hugs my hips everything I, I just think it's really flattering so this is one I mean I can say this is my preferred type of dress in any way like wrap or no wrap I love this um, now what is my critique why does this right side have to not cross all the way over to the other side of your waist um, the the design of it is that it just reaches there so you see it's a good 10 centimeters away from from the other side uh, so it when you cross it it just crosses up to there uh, I just don't know why I mean <laughs> I didn't even realize it was like that until I was making it um, I would prefer that both sides are exactly the same so when you wrap one hits there and the other one there so that the waist ties on the side I think it just gives more coverage on the front um, I'm just always scared that there's going to be some sort of wind and because I don't have that much wrap around this part everything's going to blow apart you know so there always is that, that risk with anything that's wrapped so yeah that is one critique <laughs> No more critiques. It's a great pattern. Just for next time, I am just gonna cut the, the left band twice and the, the bodice the same. So I'm not gonna make a, a different bodice for the left or for the right. I'm gonna make it the same so that when I wrap it, it wraps here and then it wraps there and I can tie it on the side. I think it's way more secure that way. And aesthetically, it doesn't make any much difference really. Um, so yeah, that is the only critique I have. Otherwise, it's perfect. Um, the, the cross here is a little bit low, but not that low. I think I could just wear it and hope for the best. Your worst case scenario, have a little pin there, but it's fine, you know. <laughs> so I have a few pictures of this dress. I just cut them as is as if there was going to be a sleeve there I didn't make any modifications I just folded in overlocked and sewed it down I think this fabric is stable enough for me to be able to get away with that in the ideal world and if I had had more fabric left over which I had nothing I had no fabric left over I would have made little bands to go around there um, that would have been my preferred way but you can only do how much fabric you have right um, if you haven't uh, tried a cashmere pattern and if you have a C cup or above, I don't know where you've been living because <laughs> it's just so great. Uh, the, the, the range of the sizes is really, is really good from 12, 12 to 28. Um, so I usually make between the 12 and the 14 and I think that is awesome that I can get into these patterns because they're very, very nice. You know, they just they cover up, you know, They've done their, their, their expert drafting for this, you know, so it's really good. Um, any comments? Let me know what you think about wrap dresses. So that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this wrap dress. It's perfect. Nothing bad to say about it really, other than it should wrap a bit more, but you know, easy fix next time. <laughs> Let me know what you think about wrap dresses. Is that a style that you like? Do you think it's universally 
uh, flattering as they say that it suits everyone. I think it suits me, um, but yeah, I think it suits everyone too. <laughs> Have fun sewing, bye.